The biggest myth in golf is the big muscles control the little muscles. That certainly isn't true in putting. In putting, we have you putt with your shoulders, you don't use your hands and wrists, and you keep the triangle. 3D proves that's not true. 3D says there's hands and wrists, there are shoulders moving, and we've got elbows going in and out. We got our arms swinging independently in the shoulder sockets, and there's hands and wrists. So none of that is true. And if we look here at V1, we are going to see that here it is. The little muscles are in the leading role, and the big muscles are in the supporting role. The little muscles are your arms, hands, and wrists. The big muscles are your shoulders, your chest, and your hips and your legs. Now we do use our legs and we do use our feet when we play golf, but if I just took the club back with my hips and shoulders, notice that's all the further back it goes. If I turn through, there it is. So there's a pretty big shoulder turn both ways and look where the club is. Nobody plays golf like that. And then this towel drill, which is one of my least favorite drills, there I am hitting a ball with my towel, underneath my arms and people call that connected well connected we're not connected in the golf swing things move further and faster than other things and guess what moves the fastest and furthest the club head and then it's the arms that move further than the shoulders move so how can something control something that's moving further and faster than the other one so I can demonstrate here, I can say there's my, here's my right arm going back. My shoulders turned a little bit. Here's my left arm. Look at this. I can move my arms all over the place and my hips and shoulders hardly turn. But the moment I put my left hand where my right hand is, look, now my hips and shoulders had to turn to get there. And if I put my left arm there, now... To get there, my hips and shoulders had to turn through. So the thing is, you want to realize that when you make a golf swing, that it's really the arm swing that's pulling your chest around. So there I am at the top. There's my arms and hands. There's no way my hands can be there at the top without pulling my hips and shoulders around. And when I get to my finish, I finish there. There's no way I can get there without having the hands and wrists be there. So that's a far cry from a finish with like this. You can see how much further the hands have traveled. And especially in the backswing, I mean, geez, look at this. You look at the difference of that. So just quit trying to control the golf club with your big muscles. It's just not true. And really work with an instructor that talks to you about how you use your hands and your arms when you play golf and your wrist, because that's how you're going to get better. You're going to get better if you start understanding what you do with your arms, hands, and wrist in your golf swing. And the big muscles simply move to support what they are doing. And a lot of times we don't have to tell the big muscles consciously what to do. They know how to move to support what our arms, hands, and wrists are doing in the golf swing. Thanks.